What's going on guys, Artificial Rest here and welcome to the first video in this brand new short Photoshop design or tutorial series. Now in this series we'll be taking a look at how to create thumbnails like different YouTubers or different YouTube artists and what better to start the first episode with than taking a look at CNanner's thumbnails and uh, basically it is Evan Eckhart a huge inspiration uh, as far as my designing goes uh, who actually makes CNNers thumbnails so CNNers are basically the last like year or so or a couple of years I'm not sure been a huge fan of having just an image or a drawing of him doing something different usually no text just an image explaining what he does and that is what makes his thumbnails very unique so we'll be taking a look at how to create thumbnails just like that. The difficult part about this is having actually a drawing or draw something that represents your video. So um, for myself we can go ahead and open Photoshop and make a new document that is 1280 by 720 pixels which is you know the usual thumbnail size. And the, dif the difficult, most difficult part of, the, of course, making thumbnail thumbnails like CNNers or Evan Eckhart is he or Evan Eckhart is an amazing, amazing artist when it comes to not just designing but actually drawing, drawing stuff himself. So I had a designer, which is called Craig McNaughton, Craig McNaughton, uh, draw draw up something for me, a Titan from Titanfall, and um, his portfolio will be in the uh, description. Uh, he is also an ama amazing artist, as you can see by his portfolio. He has an amazing amount of stuff. Just amazing. So you need to go and check that guy out. He's, he's absolutely amazing. So I got a drawing from him. Um, Titanfall drawing right here. Uh, this I have no idea how he even does this. So, you know, all credits goes to him for making this Titan for me. But let's go ahead and start making a thumbnail like um, CNNers or like Evan Eckhart would do it. So we'll go ahead and create a new layer and we'll pick a um, black to white gradient but we'll change the colors. We'll make it kinda kinda make it bluish. Make it dark make it dark blue around here I think. We'll just copy copy this so we'll get kinda like a sense what our next color will be. We'll add the second color, which will be a lot lighter. Something like that, which will make a gradient. gradient. And then we can, if we click on the uh, upper right corner and drag it down to the lower left corner, we'll get this nice and uh, nice gradient all over the R document. We'll call this gradient, if I can type it right, Gradient BG and BG of course stands for background. Uh, it's just much more simpler to type BG than actually type out background because it's it's so long and takes a lot of time to um, type out. And second, we are going to be adding a a brush, a big a big brush around seven around 750 pixels, and we'll change the foreground color to white. Simply just by pressing X on your keyboard, it will change the color. We'll have it set to white, and we'll before that we'll create a new layer, and we'll just, or actually we'll not put it to white. We'll pass the the blue color that we used earlier for the background, and we'll go very light blue, very light blue, and we'll just click once, so that we get kind of like this highlighted spot, and this is where our uh, drawing is going to be. We'll call this uh, BG Highlight. And third for the background, and after that we'll be pretty much done with our background, is to add a new black solid layer on top of it. So just press D and it will reset. Uh, it will reset your foreground and background colors to black and white. If it doesn't, just click X a couple of times until you get it. So. To simply e to easily fill your background is uh, as simple as pressing Alt and Backspace, and it will change the uh, layer color to the color you have. Color you have as a foreground. 
for example the white one or the black one easy as that and now we'll go up into our filter tab and go down to noise and add noise and we'll add about 25 I think 25 will be good and make sure the Gaussian is ticked and also make sure the monochrom mono monochromatic is ticked as a hard word to say so you don't have colors you only have black and white now we now that we have this we can go ahead and go into the blending mode and change this to something that doesn't make the um, that doesn't make the uh, noise stick out too much like overlay for instance will not work we need to get rid of mostly all of the black so we're going to screen and we'll change the opacity a lot we'll make the opacity down to around 10 around 10 I think now if I zoom in you can see that we have a lot of these white spots which makes it makes it kind of more like um, just adds another element to it instead of just having the clean having a clean background of course this is just what I prefer to do and now we'll go ahead and bring in our drawing just click and drag the drawing in here we'll turn it around by pressing ctrl T and flipping it horizontally we'll move it uh, I think we'll move it back here somewhere we can go, just go ahead and you know transfer or or transform uh, your drawing to whatever you feel or what it, wherever you on the document you want to have it and now we can go ahead and create a new layer pressing T on our keyboard and I'm going to use one of the fonts that Evan Eckhart offers for free and his um, his website will be in the uh, description so you can go ahead and get the font as well if you want to and um, it's called Evan Eckhart or EE e. Riot which is kind of like an animated drawn font and it's very nice so we're gonna have to change the color up to like 72 we'll change it we'll uh, make it bigger later on um, I'll type in Titanfall we'll change the color of this after we increase the size to around 150 I think that will do that'll do nicely and as you can see I think the spacing between the letters is a bit too big so I think I possibly have change it down to zero yep it was a 200 uh, this can be found right here in the characters tab if you don't have that you can go into window and to character and just tick that off and you'll see it I'll change this down to zero and as you can see it just looks a lot better so we'll go ahead and transform this to fit around here we'll move the text under our Titan uh, or the drawing of the Titan so you can see so you can have some depth in your image we'll actually make this a lot bigger around there so it kind of like sticks out of both the image and the um, underneath the Titan now we'll go we'll go ahead and change the color on this text there are a couple of ways you can do this you the way I usually prefer is to add a color overlay you can also just go ahead and change the regular color of the text before you type it in and I'll just simply choose a light white and yellow from the color I have on the um, on the Titans magazine on the guns magazine that the Titan have just press OK and you'll have the uh, yellow color that is roughly around the uh, magazine of the weapon second we'll duplicate this by pressing control control J and shift dragging it down so it keeps in place and I'll type in um, incoming so it says Titanfall incoming and we'll change this text not down to 72 but to around one, 175 175 I think that'll do fine and we'll move this down so some of it is is hidden but enough is visible so you can um, you can tell what it actually says so um, now that we've done that we can click on our double click on our drawing to get into the layer styles and we can add a stroke to this if you want to a white stroke to this actually we can add the same color strokes that we used on our text just increase the stroke size to around around seven 
nothing too crazy around seven or eight so that you get this kind of white outline on the drawing so it looks like it's kind of like a um a uh, or like in paper or like it's cut it's cut into it so it kind of looks like it just glued or stickered on there so i think this this will do it for the um for the thumbnail so i hope you have enjoyed this very first episode on uh how to create thumbnails like uh, different youtubers and different artists and as I said, this first episode we have been covering C Nanners or Evan Eckhart rather, since he's the one that makes all the um, all the thumbnails for C Nanners. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and be sure to check out the different artists' links in the uh, description. And I'll talk to you guys later.